In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to get set up and running with your grand format embroidery module. The first thing you're going to do is purchase it from your dealer. When it comes, it has written instructions that include photographs that make it easy to set up the, the hardware portion. Once that's finished, you will come into help here and go to activate features and you will launch the activator. So when you launch the activator, it will ask you for the serial number that is on your switch box. Looks like this. I have already done that. When you finish up with this portion, you will be ready to use embroidery on your Autopilot Mach 3. The next thing you need to do to use your computer in the embroidery mode is switch over using that switch that says GFE. So you can see down here on the left, it says embroidery not connected. But if I, on my machine, press the switch box, what will happen is I'll get a fault, and it says these faults may occur when switching to embroidery mode. So I'm going to press my yellow button again, and then I'm going to say OK. And you will see down on the left that my embroidery is now connected so we're ready to use the embroidery patterns that we have or import one. So now I'm going to open my library, say import pattern, find the thumb drive where I have my patterns. And right here I have H letter monogram. That's the one that I'm wanting to import. So if I double click on it, it will be listed here. Notice the extension for embroidery patterns is DST. I'm going to add here embroidery and say import. Now I have that pattern in my library. So I'm going to go find that pattern and put it on my pattern pad. Now right up here I want you to notice that you can go to um, here it can list all patterns, embroidery patterns, quilting or extension and you can choose the extension. I'm going to choose embroidery patterns. Did I mention it's a DST pattern? that will be an embroidery pattern. It's a common embroidery extension. I will double click on that H, and add it to my pattern pad, and now I can complete my pillow. So now I'll place the H on my screen. There are some limited editing functions for embroidery patterns. I can rotate it, I can flip it, mirror it, I can move it around by picking it up and moving it but I cannot do some advanced editing. So I have already stitched out the outer portion of this pattern and I'm ready to stitch the embroidery. Now the editing that you can do in the embroidery function here, the grand format embroidery, is I can set the colors and I can set the sew sequence. So in edit colors, I can see that I have three elements to this embroidery. I have an outline stitch, I have a design stitch, and then I have another outline stitch. So I can set the colors for those. I'm gonna set that one as red, and the H I'm gonna set as blue. You can see over here it turns to blue, and the last one I'm going to set as green, just so you can see the difference. Can you see that last one? I, I can see green there on the outside. And I don't know if you can see or not, but there may be the slightest little bit of red. The red doesn't show so much because it's underneath the green and the blue. I'm going to say close. And here I want to show you the set order. It will come in automatically set as the default that each element is visible and queued. But if I want to dequeue or make it not visible, I can. So when I hid the green and hid the blue, I can now see element number one that I made red. The reason I can't see that when the green is showing is because green stitches right over the top of that. So that's an important um, little tip to hang on to. If you have a thread break on one of these lines that has multiple um, stitchings over the top of it, it's difficult to know where you are restarting the pattern if you have all three visible. So you may want to come back here 
and change make some of them decued and, and not visible to get restarted in the right portion. Now, once you're ready, you just hit go. I want you to see what happens. It's going to tell me that the sew head is not homed. And the reason for that is because I switched over to the embroidery mode. So I'm going to say okay, and unlike in the standard mode, the sew head on its own will do one stitch. So it has taken a stitch so that it is now homed correctly and it's ready to start. So I'm going to say resume and then I'm going to say continue. This will be from the beginning of the pattern. It takes a little bit longer to send the pattern to the machine because you're in embroidery mode, so don't let that alarm you. It also stitches a little slower than you're used to, and the speed of the embroidery is necessary uh, to go a little bit slower because the autopilot wants to ensure that that needle point for each individual stitch is exactly where it should be. This is how we get such a great stitch out with each stitch placed carefully. So here we go.